Hi, we're underneath the hood of our 1969 Dodge Charger. Very, very iconic car. Used in a lot of movies. Thank Vin Diesel for this guy. But um, this particular car started life as a 383 SE car. But at this point, it's in full RT dress. So it has a 440 Magnum engine in it. Does have an upgraded Edelbrock intake manifold, uh, Carter AFB carburetor, high flow, 26 inch uh, radiator with it, and factory air conditioning, power steering, new battery, all new hoses, all new wires, Presto Lake distributor, new underhood pad. This car is as nice and new and fresh underneath as you'd ever want to find one. Condenser's real nice, no dings or marks or anything in it. Uh, original radiator core support on it. Uh, just a nice, fresh, fresh 440 from the oil pan to the air cleaner. They made 375 advertised horsepower. Grossly underrated. This car runs and drives and does everything, every function as, as a real RT at this point. Great new fresh motor in it. You'll love it. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And today our guest on the floor is a 1969 Dodge Charger. It's, it's an SE car, but it's in full RT dress now. So there's no difference from this car to an RT when it left the factory, other than the first number or the serial number. That's it. Other than that, for all intents and purposes, this is an RT. We always try to give you a very good video presentation of everything that we have here at Hangsters. This particular car is no exception. We're going to go over it. Hopefully I won't miss any little tiny marks or dings or, or anything that, that, that shouldn't be on the car. We'll do our very, very best to present the car to you. If in fact I do miss something, it's something we catch later on, we'll address that prior to us shipping the car. Let's start with this guy. 1969. The paint on the hood is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful color blue. Um, hood fitment, very, very nice. The gaps to the fender, the fitment to the fender is, is very nice on the car. Both sides. Paint's beautiful on this car. Very nice car. Chrome on the front bumper, just as it was when it was new. Bumper fitment is absolutely perfect from side to side. You can't really see a difference from one side to the other. Really looks good. Peekaboo headlights in this and they do function. You see the RT designation with the charger on the driver's side. The um, <clears throat> plastic grill is all intact. No pieces broken out. No chips. No nothing taken out of it. Uh, it's just as it was when it was new. Front valance is very nice. It's not pulled or dented anywhere. Your parking lights in the front are nice and clear. Um, Clear lenses the way they should be for 1969. Great looking car in the front. Let's see what we find on the side. Okay, now the driver's side of our RT type charger. Paint really, really nice. Fitment of the, uh, the lenses are nice and clear. The fitment is nice on the parking lights. Wheel lip molding. No dinghies, no marks. You see the hood fits really nice up against the uh, cowl area. The uh, fender to the cowl to the door is just all as nice as you'd ever want, cleaned out of the quarter panel. Very nice fitment on the uh, body panels on this car. Trim around the windows. I don't see any, no marks at all on them. Nice uh, fresh looking dash, just not all faded out. The, um, <clears throat> the dash pad is still intact, it still looks real good, but we'll check it out when we get inside. Correct wiper arms and blades on this car, the way it came in 1969. Vinyl roof, and there are no, no bubbles or marks or anything underneath the uh, black vinyl on this car. It's just absolutely as nice as you'd ever want to find one. Rubbers around the wings, very nice. Tinted glass in this front windshield also. It does have air conditioning from the factory. Yeah, a little bit of patina on this mirror. I don't think we'll change it, but it is an original mirror, and it does have a little bit of fade on that uh, uh, chrome that's on it. The whiskers, wipes on the doors, front and back, are just as fresh and nice as can be. The original rubber uh, seals on top are very nice also. Chrome on the door handles, very nice. Paint on the uh, door. Rocker panels, everything matches up. You can see it's very, very nice fitment of the body panels. 
Very nice fitment. Drip edge molding. And a couple of, I don't even know if you want to call them dents, a couple of little marks. You, I can feel them, but I really can't see them very well. They're, they're there. There's two, one there, one there, a little tiny, little tiny mark where maybe it was tapped to go on, or maybe a broom fell against it or something. Who knows? But at, at any rate, it's nothing to concern any fingers with. Quarter panel, paint the same way, really, really nice. SE charger designation on the back because that's the way it started life. But it could also be an RTSE, which RTSE would be a leather interior, which one this does not have, but an SE would have designated that it had a leather interior. But paint on the uh, quarter panel, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. No marks on the wheel lip molding. RT designation on the back, as you can see. Side marker lamp, the same as the front, nice and clean and clear. Our quick uh, fuel Mopar gas cap that they used on their performance cars, E bodies and B bodies. Rear window, also tinted, no marks whatsoever anywhere, anywhere on it. Hat rack, shelf, uh, real nice, not faded or anything. It's in, in excellent shape, nice and black yet. Nice driver's side, door fitment to quarter to the front fender, everything on his car, and it's a long car. Everything is just as sweet as can be. With that Coke bottle shape to it, you know, it, it, it has a lot of charisma down the side of this car. Makes it look a lot wider in the back than it is in the front. Great looking car on the driver's side. Let's see what's out back. Okay, around the back of our RT, you can see it does have the correct four RT uh, badging and striping that uh, goes around the tail end of these cars. The uh, rear deck just as the hood, you know, really, really nice fitment and the paint fit and finish on this car is really, really nice. A little tiny bit of a, and what it is, a dimple. Maybe one piece of hill just happened to go bing and that's it. Other than that, there's nothing to show you on the back. Uh, the blackout area in the back is just as sweet as can be. Um, RT designation in the back, of course, you know, that, that would go with the, uh, the theme of this car. Tail light lenses, just as nice as you'd ever want. Basils around the tail light, the trim pieces. There's no pits in the chrome at all, none, absolutely none. Chrome in the back bumper and bumper fitment as the front, just very, very nice. Non-original, but very close to the original style tips that came on these cars. Stainless steel tips. The uh, rear volants. Housing the uh, backup lights, uh, lights are nice and clean in them yet and clear. Chrome around them is nice. No pulls or dents or anything on the uh, rear volants of this car either. The back end of this car is, it mimics the rest of it. It's just as nice as you want to find one. The great color combination too, this blue and black kind of jumps out at you. Let's see what's on driver's side. Or passenger side. Here it did driver's side. Okay, up our passenger side of the uh, Charger RT, you can see again the RT designation, nice clear light, paints very nice on this car everywhere. Trim around the back window on this side, same as the other side, no marks or dents. Trim around the, uh, and there's one little mark here, a little dingy. I think when they were putting the trim on or, or something, somebody gave it a little tap. Probably won't see it in the video, but it is there. Rocker panel. and. Fender lip, just as sweet as you'd ever want to find one. Neglected to mention, this particular car does have the correct for this era, for this year, um, Kelsey Hayes style wheels that came with this car as an option. They are the Kelsey wheel style that came with the car in 1969, so it does have them. Beautiful combination. All the trim around the, uh, again, the drip rail, there's absolutely nothing on this one. Our fuzzies are sweet as can be. Quarter panel to the door, to the rocker. Everything is really, really great on this car so far. <clears throat> door the same way. To the front fender, very nice. Correct Mopar antenna for it. Fender lift molding up 
Front also is as nice as you'd want. Um, side marker lights, bumper fitment, everything on this car is very, very nice. It's a very nice car. You know, there's no marks on the glass, nothing on the roof. I can, I, other than those couple little tiny, tiny marks that you can't even, you can't really look to find them. I don't see anything. I didn't see any stone chips on this car either anywhere. No dents down the side. This side is just as straight as the other one. I can't see a laser straight because it has a Coke bottle shape, but um, it's just really, really straight. Nice curvature to the quarter panels. All the panels align as they should. Just a great, great car all around. Chargers are very, very difficult to, to locate. 1968, 9, and 70. 68 and 9 being a little more iconic than a 70. But all three of those years, if you can find one in this condition, it definitely warrants taking a look at. Um, these cars are very difficult, like I said, to locate that aren't completely trashed out or rusted out or, or having uh, multiple issues where this car does not. I drove the car, it runs fine, it does have factory air in it, has power steering. A fresh 440 from the oil pan to the air cleaner, everything's been addressed in that engine. Everything is fresh, so you're buying an RT style car for a lot less money than you would think. Um, these cars really escalated in price in the last few years. You can thank Vin Diesel for that one. But uh, this particular car is a great color combination. We're going to show you an interior presentation <coughs> and an undercarriage photo and presentation of the car. So you can get a, a very good idea of how nice this car actually is. It's a tremendous um, value for the money. Check it out at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and you'll be impressed. Okay, we're inside our 1969 Dodge Charger, blue and black. Um, the car is very, very nice inside. The interior appears to have been replaced at some point in time. Door panels are original. The uh, interior in this car is absolutely beautiful. The front seat, the back seat, everything matches. Original style headrests, they weren't replaced because uh, you can't buy them this way. They're, they're covered up ones. Dashboard is very, very nice. There's one little, t you're never going to see it. I almost missed it. In fact, I got to move my head around just to see it. There is a hairline crack just from shrinkage through the years on this dashboard. There's also a division on the uh, steering wheel at the very, very top, at, at 12 o'clock position. Just from sh shrinkage through the years of the plastic. Usually they're broken in two or three places. This has one big one about a half an inch wide, three-eighths of an inch wide, something like that. Original headrest is really, really nice condition. None of the stitching's coming loose. Rear view mirror is really nice. It doesn't have any uh, fading or anything to it. Headliner is drum, drum tight. Front to back. The hat rack, like we said, was in really great condition. And these door panels, like I stated, are just, they're, they're original looking and they're absolutely brand spanking new. They're just beautiful. All the software in the car is nice. The um, carpeting appears to be the original carpeting. <clears throat> it may have been dyed through the years, but it doesn't need replaced. It's, it's a really great condition. All the uh, bright trim around the gas brake and uh, parking brake. Um, pedals are all very, very bright and nice. Your gauges are all clear and very bright and nice. They all function. The original wheel radio, I don't know if it works or not. We'll try that out in our test video. It does have air conditioning. All the vents are intact. And all the flutes are in the vents also where there's none broken out. You know, usually there's two or three or four missing. This has none missing. So you got a nice wood grain dash. You've got a great uh, door panels, rear panels tight headliner, everything in this car is nice. By the way, it does have bucket seats. You had your choice on a charger. You had a fold down armrest where you could actually make it like a bench seat or a bucket seat. Or you could take this out and have a console in it, extra cost for a console. Um, this person chose when they ordered this car to go with the headrest or armrest uh, in, in place of the uh, console. Really a great looking car, other than a couple little tiny, tiny imperfections. There's really nothing I can see on this car that would uh, deter anyone from, uh, from buying a car. It's a fantastic car. It does have all the seats belt in it too, front and rear. So uh, you got a car that's ready to go here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Clock works. Turn signals work. Speedo is going to work here in a minute as soon as we get moving. Temperature gauge works. The uh, fuel gauge works. 
amp gauge works oil pressure is not working I know the radio of course doesn't work that goes without saying um, nice car we have to get the uh, put a new oil pressure sender in it and uh, it'll be ready to go then but wipers wipers work nice straight car pretty car sound of the exhaust, not too loud, it just has a nice tone to it, nice rumble. Let's keep the bit a little bit ahead. That's 80, I'm going to shut that off. Hi, we're underneath our 1969 Dodge Charger. Blue, black vinyl top, black end, black bumblebee stripe, RT style vehicle. Started life as a 383 four barrel car. Now it's a 440 RT style car in every way. Heavy duty sway bar underneath, uh, new sway bar ends, appears to be a new pitman arm, long tube headers, three inch collector, Drum brakes in the front, tie rod ends are all nice looking, ball joints look all nice and, and fresh, fairly fresh. Um, <coughs> subframe structure, really, really nice on this car, real nice. Starting up front, going back, there's no dents or marks or anything on it, no deterioration whatsoever. Still has the original driver's side uh, splash shield in, in place. Engine, 440. This particular motor is fresh from the oil pan to the air cleaner. Notice no drips, no, no drops, no leakage whatsoever. It is a fresh, completely redone engine. Nice cam in it. Real strong run of 440. 727 Chrysler Tranny. No dust shield in the front here. Uh, people leave them off down in the uh, warmer climates just so that it does cool that converter a little bit. It does help uh, cool that uh, transmission oil which by the way it does have the intact transmission cooling lines that go front to the uh, radiator. Uh, let's go down through the center here. New speedometer cable. Like I said, no leaks on the tranny whatsoever or even on the tail shaft of it. Absolutely not. Heavy duty torsion bars. All the original Chrysler splatter undercoating sound deadener is still intact on this car. Two and a quarter inch uh, pipes, which are brand spanking new, transitioning into two original equipment style Chrysler mufflers. The uh, floor pans where they go on to the uh, rocker panels, still original. Rocker panels still original on this car. The uh, subframe structures that go uh, from the uh, floorboards over to the uh, rocker panels, they're real nice. They're not uh, 
uh, marked up. No one's ever tried to jack it up on the uh, floor pans, thank God. But uh, they all look intact, no dents, no dings or marks whatsoever in them, which is really surprising. There's some marks in the uh, undercoating, but I don't see any dents whatsoever in the uh, uh, subframes on the, on the uh, vehicle either. Original brake line is going down the driver's side, original fuel line on the passenger side. We're halfway down through this car and honestly there's absolutely nothing that's uh, uh, detrimental to anything under here. It's just the way it was in uh, 1969 when it was built. Everything still looks intact and it looks nice, straight, original. Nothing's been disrupted. Let's see what's on the other half. Okay, as I said before, original equipment style, um, Mopar type uh, under chassis mufflers. Brake lines are all nice and uh, clean and original on this car yet. They didn't need to be replaced. Parking brake, uh, still the original parking brake, all intact and functional. Leaf springs are nice. They have a little arch to them yet, the way they should. Eight and three quarter heavy duty Chrysler rear end in this car, the way it should have come with a 383 four barrel or a 440. It is uh, a heavy duty Chrysler eight and three quarter. Newer shocks in the front, New shocks in the back, drum brakes in the back, also to match the drums in the front. It does have four brand new uh, white wall tires on it that the white walls are turned in, but it does have four brand new tires on it anyway. The uh, subframes in the rear, <coughs> just the way the ones in the front are, absolutely undisturbed, as absolute nice as could possibly be. You could not find a nicer set of. Uh, uh, subframes on a, on a Mopar than this on this vehicle and all original with the original splatter undercoating everything tabs still intact on the uh, drop downs on the fenders from the uh, uh, quarter panels the floor pan appears to be all original and undisrupted two and an eighth pipes going out of the uh, mufflers to the uh, megaphone type uh, exhaust in the back Replacement gas tank is painted black, but it is a, a new gas tank. It's not the original tank in the car this car is as original underneath as you'd ever hope to find one. It does have all the original sound deadener undercoating in it. There are no superficial marks on any of the uh, subframes, the torque boxes. Uh, none of this has anything bent on it that I can see. Absolutely nowhere. Springs are nice. All the attachments underneath are nice. This car is as rust free a uh, 1969. Charger as you could ever find. I can't find a single thing underneath this car. Absolutely nothing. It's a nice car.